So this is what my hair looks like freshly washed. I'm about to go ahead and start my wash and go. My hair is still wet, so I'll start off by showing you what products I'm using. I'm using my Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner, Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie, and Eco Styler Gel. And also I have my spray bottle full of water, so I'll be back um, with this section to show you all exactly what I do. I won't sit here and do it all on the so camera for you. And I only have this top front section done, um, left to do. And here's what I have so far. My curl pattern is really loose in the front, but um, I'm like a, I am a 4B. So that's my texture. And I'll show you what I do. First thing I do is I saturate my hair with water. So I'm gonna take my water bottle and spray my hair. So once I get it wet enough, I'm gonna apply my leave-in conditioner Doing the wash and go, I'm still going to use the lock method as well. So that never stops because I like I like to keep my hair moisturized. So I'm going to take about that much of my Cantu Shea Butter um, Leave-In. And I'm going to rub it through my hair. I have water dripping everywhere. So just massage your leave-in up. The, whatever type of leave-in you like to use, just massage, massage it through your hair. And after you do your, um, add your leave-in, I like to use my um, oil. I'm going to spray some olive oil into my hand, rub it on my hands, and apply it to my hair. You can use whatever you like. I chose to use olive oil for this. Cause I wasn't sure how it was going to work out and I didn't want to waste my good coconut oil because that's my favorite oil. So I'm going to work this olive oil in really good and really get my ends. So now that I have that in, these are the parts I did earlier. So now I'm going to take a small portion of hair. using my finger and this through this whole process I've been finger detangling I did not use my comb or brush my hair is so thick these clips won't even hold it <sighs> let's see okay so I have this piece portion of hair I'm gonna spray spray again with water to make sure it's soaking wet and it's soaking wet now now that it's soaking wet, I'm going to take my Cantu, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm going to take my Curl Enhancing Smoothie and rub that in my hair. Like this. Rub it in, make sure you get the ends. Once you do that, take some Eco Styler. I'm not using a lot, I don't want my hair to be all hard. So I'm going to take my Eco Styler and rub it until my curls come. And as I play with it, it comes out. So I'm going to get some more Eco Styler and just keep rubbing until I get them how I want them. You see how this one is? So now I'm going to go to the next section and I'm just going to keep doing this throughout my head. Take portions, small portions of hair like that. And I spritz it with water and I finger detangle. Once I finger detangle, I add my Curl Enhancing Smoothie. And then I add the Eco Styler. I'm going to add 
add some more. And as you go through, you can just re-wet it because once you add the water, it makes your curls come out more. If you can tell right now, like my curls, after I sprayed the water, now it's really curling up. See? And this is what my curl pattern looks like. So now I'm going to just add a little more product. Put my curls. And I'm just going to keep going until I'm done. I'll do a few more sections for you on camera. And then once I'm done with these few sections, I'll come back showing you the finished look. There go some more curls if y'all want to see how it's looking. I didn't know I had curls like this, y'all. I didn't think my hair was capable of doing this. But since it's growing out, now I'm really be, um, able to see my curls. So I guess that's a great thing. So now I'm gonna do, This is going to be the last portion of hair I do before I turn the camera off. And whenever you're doing the style, make sure you wear a t-shirt, um, an old t-shirt, and have your towel ready because water will be everywhere. Okay, so I'll be back to show you how it looks once so I'm here. Here I am, and I am done. I've had my whole head, and I'll show you what it's looking like. Now, of course, my hair is white from the um, Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In and the Curl Enhancing Smoothie, but once it dries, you know, it'll be all right. So this is what my curls are looking like. And the curls in the front are a lot looser. That's just the way my texture is. It's a little loose in the back as well. So now that I have it in, I'm going to just like play with my hair so I can get it in the shape that I want it to dry in. See, I have a lot of curls down here. Curls just all over. And I'm excited because I can't wait to see how it looks when I'm done. So right now I'm going to spritz with a little water and just keep shingling just break the curls apart i would shake it but um i'll have product all over my mirror and all over this bathroom and i don't have time to be cleaning up all of that i might get in the shower and shake my head but i don't know all that shaking in your head stuff is not for me i feel like it'll give me a headache so i'm just gonna play with my hair like this and do it break my curls up that way just gonna shake, go through and shake my hair versus shaking my whole head. I think that's just doing too much. See, I feel that this does the same purpose. Just kind of breaking up the curls. Oh goodness, I'm still getting stuff on the wall. I mean on the mirror. 
but this is how I want my hair to lay. I, I like I like my side part. I love my hair coming to the right side of my face. And that is all that I do. The next time you see me, I'll show you what my hair is looking like in the dry state. But I like this. My hair is stretched. It's not like super short. I'm sure it's going to shrink up once it dries. Hopefully not too much. And this is what I'm working with. So I'm just going to keep playing with it and shaping my hair. So I'll spin around one more time for you. So you can see my whole head. Yeah, I think I'm going to like this, y'all. So thanks for watching for now. And I'll be back to show you the final results. Okay, this is what my hair is looking like. This is the final result. You can see my curls, but it's like an afro. And for this, I feel like I could have just washed my hair and did nothing to it. Um, so will I be doing a wash and go again? Probably not. Like my, you can see my curls more, but oh, I'm not feeling this, y'all. Look at my hair. Look at my hair. And I told y'all the curls in the front were really loose, so I don't have any true curl definition. But everywhere else, I see curls, especially in the back. I just have a super cute afro. I can take these out and I might pull my hair back or something, but me and wash and goes do not work. Maybe when my hair gets longer, it'll be cuter. But as of now, uh-uh, I won't be doing this again.